hello guys welcome to a new video and in this new video we are going to talk about ACLs of access list All right and what an access list it actually lets you filter of black um, traffic coming from a, either a network or a host okay so that's what access list does okay and if you haven't follow me on Twitter go ahead if you have a Twitter account Go ahead and follow me at CCNA Daily Tips, where I post a lot of stuff about CCNA. Okay, I post videos here, and I post a lot of um, links to my website. And if you haven't followed me or subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, where I already have over 70 videos. So if you are liking my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and take a look at my channel and all the videos that I have uploaded to YouTube. So let's start with this. Um access list activity and let's see what we have to do so a standard access list ACLs are router configuration scripts that control whether a router permits or denies packets based on the source address this activity focuses on defining filtering criteria configure standard ACLs applying ACLs to router interfaces and verifying and testing the ACL implementation so the router the routers are already configured, including IP addresses and EIGRP routing. So, step one, investigate the current network configuration before applying any ACLs to a network. It is important to confirm that you have fully connectivity, verify that the network has full connectivity by choosing PC and pinging other devices on the network. You should be able to sexually pin every device. Okay, so I know that we are able to Ping any device if you want to go, go ahead and ping devices. So, step two evaluate two network policies and plan ACL implementations. The following network policies implemented on R2, the 192.168.11 server network, is not allow access to the web server. So, this network is not allow access to this network over here. Okay, so to restrict access. From the 192.168.11.0.24/24 network to the web server, which is at this IP address, without interfering with other traffic, an ACL must be created on R2. Okay, so we have to create. We have to create an ACL on R2. So the access list must be placed on the outbound interface to the web server. A second rule must be created on R2 to permit all traffic or all, all other traffic. Okay. So the following network policies policies are implement implemented on R3. This network is not allowed to communicate with this other network. All other access is permitted. Okay, that's good. To restrict access from 192.168.10/24 to this other network without interfering with other traffic and access list will need to be created on R3 so we also going to create that on R3 the LCL must be placed on the outbound interface to PC3 a second rule must be created on R3 to permit all traffic so this is what we got to do over here let's go ahead to router 2 first and foremost Let's go ahead and go to the command line, enable config t, and for here to create an access list, we need to do access list one, and this is going to be a standard access list because it goes from zero to ninety nine. And if we are going to implement a ex extended access list, it needs to be from one hundred to twenty six hundred and ninety nine. Okay. So let's go ahead and access list. Deny 192.168.11. And then we have to do a walker mask like this. Hmm, let's see. So, oh, 11.0. Okay, now that's good. And the other one is we have to. After that, we have to permit any other traffic because if we only leave it like that, 
um, access list has an implicit deny. So what it's going to do is going to deny it also all the traffic. So let's go ahead and create this access list one permit any. Okay, so what it's going to do when we get that traffic from this network, what's going to do is first it's going to deny it and deny and deny it. But if we get one from another network, let's see it, let's say that 12, what's going to do is it's also going to deny because we have that implicit deny deny. That's why we have to create this other one, which is access list one permit any. Okay, so that's good. And now the other thing we have to implement it on gigabit zero two. And for here we need to call a IP access group want and we're going to put it in the outbound. Okay. So what we are doing is IP access group. We're going to call that group one, which is the number of this standard access list that we have created. Okay, so this is good. Now let's go ahead to router three. Right, and in router three, we also need to configure another access list, which is this one right here. So let's go ahead and end config T. And let's do IP, or not IP, just access group or access list. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to do a access list number one. Like I told you before, standard access list are from 0 to 99. Let's do a deny 192.168.10.0. Our mask 00 And now we have to create another one access list. Want permit to permit any other traffic that does not have this. Um, IP address or this or that is not in this network okay and after that interface gigabit zero zero and let's do let's add this access list to this interface which is the number one and we're going to do it outbound okay so now on router two and router three enter the show access list so let's go ahead to the access list of router two and three and show access list as you can see we have that access list that we just configured now let's go ahead to router three show access list and here's the other one that we have configured so that's good now with the two ACLs in place network traffic is restricted according to the policies detailed in part one Use the following test to verify the ACL implementations. Okay, so from this, um, 192.168.10.10, let's try to ping this IP address. So that 10.10, let's see, which is this one over here. Let's do a IP config to verify that this is the correct IP address so yep let's go ahead and ping this and it should we should be able to ping that IP address it's going to time out and then we're going to get replies so that's good now let's see what's the other one let's try to ping from the same computer let's try to ping this one and it should succeed so from PC1 Let's go ahead and ping this other IP address. And here it is, we are also able to ping the IP address. Now let's go back to the activity. And now from 192.168.11.10, if we ping this IP address, it should not be able to reach that IP address because that's the IP address of the server. And we do not want that. So 11.10, it should be this one over here. Let's go ahead and IP config. Yep, that's the correct one. So let's try to ping it, the web server. And there we go, destination unreachable. So we're not able to reach that um, IP address, which is the IP address for the web server. Let's go ahead back to the activity. Now from 
10.10, we shouldn't be able to ping this IP address. Let's go ahead and take a look. So this is PC1. PC1, ping. And there we go, we are also unable to ping that IP address. Let's see what else we have in here. So from PC2, we should be able to ping this IP address. So let's go ahead and take a look, PC2. Ping. So we are able to ping it, let me see. If that's correct okay so yeah we should be able to ping it succeeds okay that's good and now from this other computer which is PC3 we should be able to get to that web server so let's go ahead to PC3 verify that it has the correct IP address IP config here we go that's the correct IP address let's go ahead and ping And there we go and we are also able to reach that web server so now this should be good let's go to the activity check results and here it is congrats you have successfully completed the package tracer activity configure standard acls okay so this is all for this package tracer activity and if you have enjoyed this video go ahead and follow me on twitter at tcna daily tips and also subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and share this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.